Once you've logged into your Joomla site, head on over to menus and then you'll know what we're talking about. First, let's go to main menu. Okay, let's say for example you are new to Joomla and you want to learn how to get rid of useless menus. So, um, one of these clients came to me because the person that who did her Joomla site wasn't um, as experienced in creating sites or editing the site. I'm just here to just clean up a little bit, improve SEO a little bit, and also help her along with the rest of the process. So what's happened is there's a whole bunch of menus you might be able to see here that are part of the theme or template that was um, implemented in this Joomla installation. But it's not necessary. We only need one menu for this particular client. So what we're doing is just um, all the crosses here that we've got, we're just going to go ahead and make sure they're deleted properly rather than just um, unpublished. So we're leaving all the ones that are obviously that we want and we're just getting rid of the others. So the quick way to do it if you're doing a whole heap is to click this check all button and then uncheck the ones that you don't need. Um, and then simply from there go to trash. Okay, so that's editing menu items. If you have a long list of menus here that are just uh, simply not needed for you, um, I would suggest deleting them because it's totally not necessary. And it just cleans up your site a little bit. So for instance, um, you might want to keep your main menu, which is generally where your home and your contact us and all that rest of it sits. Um, the user menu generally is if you're allowing users to log in through the front end of the website, you might want to have a special user menu for them. Um, but the rest of this, just remove it. Um, and how we do that is we're going to menus. And under the menu, you'll see how many menu items are actually published in them. So for instance, if we go to this one right here, you can have a look at the menu items published. I'm not going to need any of that, so I can go trash. If you did want this menu, of course, you can click new and you can create new menu items. Um, but once that's empty, we can now see that that one has zero. And we'll go here and delete. Yes, delete, delete, delete. Now, I wouldn't just say tick this, tick this, tick this, tick this, and delete. Have a look at them. Make sure they are not actually relevant to your client. Uh, and if so, you can just trash. Boom. Um, so it's quite easy to do, as you can see. But what if there's some published here and you want a shortcut and go here and go delete? So just be careful you're not deleting anything that is actually relevant and have fun with it. Okay, that concludes this tutorial. If you've got any questions, visit websiteangels.com.au or give me a buzz on this number. Cheers.